Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanna create another holiday makeup look with some new releases that I have here. I thought we could just create another look for you guys for the holiday season, for all the parties that are coming up. But before we go any further in the video, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. All right, first thing, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a beauty mist. This is the Chanel Hydra Beauty Essence Mist. This says Hydration Protection Radiance Energizing Mist. It's a beauty mist. It's like the MAC Fix Plus or the Quadali Beauty Elixir. I don't know. I like these sort of like extra things that are not necessary but are just fun to use. So I went ahead and did that. I'm going to go into my Chanel Holiday Palette called number 342 Lumiere Opulence. And I'm going to start by going into the light champagne color and just apply that on the mobile lid. So I know it's the season for office holiday parties. And one of my friends was telling me that he had his already this week, but his office organized it on a Tuesday, like a Tuesday night. That was the office party. I don't know why I found that so shocking. I'm like, who, why would you organize a party on a Tuesday night? That's like the least fun day of the week. So as you can see, I'm using a very well used little sponge here and I'm just blending this up all over the crease here and all over the lid. Now I'm going to go into that reddish brown shade with a small pencil brush and I'm just going to place this on the outer corner here. Then taking a blending brush, I'm just gonna buff this out. And as you can see, there's a little bit of fallout right here, but that's okay. That's always why we do our eyeshadow first. I used to do my face makeup first and then my eyeshadow. And then I think I just got tired of always cleaning up under my eyes here and then having to do like redo my concealer and etc. So I always do my eyes first now. Unless I'm doing like a really minimal, like no makeup makeup look, I feel like on those days I barely wear any eyeshadow, especially dark ones. So on those days, I will do my eyes after my face makeup because it doesn't really matter. But for more of a party look, let's do our eyes first. Over top of this brownish red color, I'm gonna go ahead and place like a, the dark khaki green color in the palette here. And I'm just going to go back into that blending brush from before and just softly blend this out. So I just went in with a bit of eye cream and I rolled a q-tip in it just to clean up under the eyes here just to collect some of that dark shadow that fell underneath. And then afterwards I went ahead and just cleaned up the lines here because I do want it to be a bit more sharp. Usually I buff it out into like a smoky eye and I want it to be dark but I want it to have a bit more shape so I'm not sure if these are perfectly even right now but we can adjust as we go. Okay let's go ahead and do the face makeup. I'm gonna go into my Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation i'm in the shade 5.5 so i know it's only december but online you are seeing photos of like the spring collections already for certain brands and i understand that brands want to like stay on trend so they always like show the new releases but it's honestly a bit overwhelming i'm like let me just like enjoy my holiday collection during the holidays i'm looking forward to the spring releases but it's just like i don't know i don't know why companies feel the need to be so ahead like when they release the spring launches they release it in january and i'm sorry but in montreal january is the middle of winter it's like minus 40 like i don't know how many feet of snow outside and so i don't know i think i guess because like in the fashion world they're always several months ahead and so it seems like they want to make sure that the makeup world and the fashion world are like on the same schedule but it's almost like too much you know i wish they would just push things back a bit like even the holiday collection came out in october i wish they just waited until november to put it out because to me i don't know i just wish they would just like push it back like a month, a month and a half, just so it made more sense for that actual season. For the concealer, I'm gonna go into my Clé de Peau concealer in Almond. 
I really enjoyed one of my last videos that I did talking about the movie um, Love Actually, which is one of my favorite holiday movies. And you guys were talking about your favorite holiday movies. A lot of you guys mentioned the movie The Holiday. Um, I asked you guys over on Instagram as well, talking about like your favorite holiday movies. And some of you mentioned National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. That one's a great one. Home Alone, a classic. Uh, someone mentioned Die Hard, which I haven't seen before, but I've heard is a Christmas movie. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out now. I'm gonna go into an eyeliner since this is more of an evening look. I'm gonna go ahead and use a black liner, but if you're more comfortable with a brown one, go ahead and use that. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Stilo Zoo number 88. This is just like a really dark black. Okay, now I'm gonna go into my mascara. I'm gonna go ahead and use the volume and just put on lots and lots of mascara. And then with whatever is left on this pencil brush, I'm just gonna sweep it under the bottom lashes here because I wanna make sure that whatever shadow we have on the top here connects to the bottom lashes. And it doesn't have to be really dark. As you can see, it looks really light, but it just kind of like melts together and joins together. And I'm gonna go into a bit of blush. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Tweed blush. This is number 20 Tweed Coral. Okay, so for the bronzer, I wanna go into something totally brand new. This is from Givenchy. This is their Healthy Glow Powder in number 03 Amber, and this packaging is so beautiful. I love the detailing in it. The packaging is just so beautiful. I saw this online for quite some time, and I finally picked it up because it's just so pretty. But anyway, let's go ahead and dig into it. This gives such a beautiful, healthy glow to the skin. It feels really lightweight and it doesn't look orange. I was talking to the person who was helping me and she said like, what kind of effect are you looking for? And I was like, not orange, that's the number one thing. But it, it's light, but it's buildable and it's just really beautiful. So I'm so happy I picked this one up. And I'm gonna go into a highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Duo de Camellia. This one is definitely the more intense between the Metal Peach and the Duo Camellia. This one here is much more intense. So I think if you have a party and a night out, I think this one is definitely more appropriate because it is more intense. I think the Metal Peach is more lightweight, everyday type of wear. And I'm just gonna dip into my highlighter here and I'm gonna add a little bit on the inner corner here. So we are just about done. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with a lipstick. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Gior one that I got with the holiday collection. This one is called 066 Passion. And then to finish off the look and be completely extra, I'm gonna go into my Coco Noir hair mist here. This is the Coco Noir perfume, but it's just a bit finer and it's safe for your hair and it's just so extra. So I don't know, it's just like a nice touch. Like imagine if you have an office party or a party to go to after work and maybe you already wore perfume that day and you don't wanna to add too much. Adding a nice perfume to your hair just kind of, I don't know, like refreshes you and adds a bit more perfume without really going too overboard. So this is my finished look. I like this sort of cat eye effect. I don't usually gravitate towards these types of looks, but I really like them because I think it switches things up from just buffing out a smoky eye all over. I think this is nice. I think it's a really cute little look. You could wear this to a party, to an event. I paired this with a nice raspberry lip color, but you could do like a nice dark lip color. You could do something more nude. It's really up to you. I just think that this is like a nice, fun, festive type of look. So. That's what I went with. If you guys happen to enjoy today's video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel because I know that a lot of you who watch my channel are not actually subscribed to me. So if you happen to like luxury makeup tutorials and luxury makeup reviews, I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel because that's all I do here. And if you subscribe and hit the notification bell on the side, you can be notified whenever I post more videos. So it's really up to you. But anyway, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.